What's up, world? Hey, it's Vaughn Joseph. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Big day today. It's being called a day without an immigrant. Wow, what's going on in the United States? We are going to go in on that with Mr. Zoe Rachel when we come back. cities across the United States, you guys, thousands of construction companies, uh, restaurants, businesses, they're just bracing for this A Day Without an Immigrant campaign that's a uh, protest or however you wish to describe it. Um, it's a combination like a boycott uh, slash strike, I guess, if you will, that highlights the contributions of immigrants in the United States businesses and cultures. So the movement is apparently in response to Donald Trump's immigration agenda, as you may know, uh, which includes a pledge to seal the U.S. border with Mexico and a travel ban on certain Muslim countries, majority Muslim countries, um, which is now actually on hold. So these seven countries are back uh back within the flying option, if you will. So some businesses are closed um, today. This is to, it's the events happening today. Uh, others are staying open and pledging to contribute a share of their proceeds to uh, various causes, which are nonprofits and so on that support the Latino communities. Um, the day of protest comes after apparent immigration and uh, customs enforcement agents, you know, they went and did all these uh, arrests, apparently. But I'm out now hearing that that wasn't actually the case and it never happened. So when will the fake news stop? I don't even know where it ends, where it begins, or what. So joining us today to discuss the day without immigrants is Mr. Alfonso Rachel from AlfonsoRachel.com. Also drummer and founder of the rock group 20 Pound Sledge. What's going on, so. What do you know? What's going on? Oh man, don't don't let me butcher that song, man. <laughs> so, don't let me butcher that song. California, man, they're 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 protesting. They're not going to work. They're not buying gas. What's up with that? Hey, more power to them, man. I'm I'm down for the strike. Let's do it. Power power to the people. Well, I mean, this is not empowering, but hey, you know what? March. Get your leave, leave your jobs. Get out there and march and march your behind on across whatever border that you, you choose. But you know, just keep on marching. Just march your behind on the way from here because hey, we're sick of these people too. Tired of these people. I mean, look, man. I mean, these people out there protesting. You know, people out there needing work and these people walking off of jobs. You know what? Why did they? It was like if you're an immigrant, why did you come to America? Well, we wanted to come to America because we wanted to have a job. And now that I got my job, I'm going to walk off it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, and then they try to like talk about slavery and they try to talk about like these old Jim Crow laws that have got, that, that have nothing to do with these people. Meanwhile, if you're free to walk off your job, you ain't no slave. You ain't no slave if you can walk off your job. Slaves didn't have the luxury to just say, you know what, I'm protesting. I'm quitting. I'm here. <laughs> they didn't get to do that. <laughs> so this whole exercise is ridiculous, man. This is just an exercise and just spoiled rotten buttholery, man. Well, do you do you think that maybe um, uh, yeah they come they came there to work they come to the United States because they wanted a better opportunity and I don't you know begrudge them for that it's it's it's, mm. it's, a, it's a rough life that I've seen on the news. It's beautiful, man. Immigration is beautiful. Right. So that's that's part of our democratic or our American right to, to free speech and not go to work to protest. The right to assemble, the right to say this is unjust and I'm not going to stand and take it anymore. So do you not think that they deserve that that uh, opportunity to say how they well, feel? We, we understand that there's been some some instances of arrest. Yeah. Right. And this is uh, this is an abuse of, of rights. You know, um, people keep talking about I have the right to protest. I have the right. No, you have the right to peaceably assemble. You don't have the right to make trouble for other people. You know, you don't have the right to to interrupt somebody else's livelihood. You know, you don't have the right to do that. That's what these people forget. They forget that there's a balance to freedom. You know, you want to protest, go ahead and protest. You know, but like I said, these people are just like with unions. They, they walk off their jobs because they're not getting paid what they want. Meanwhile, they'll go out and strike for much less or strike for free. 
You know, so it's like that. None of that stuff makes sense to me. But in this instance right here, when we're talking about these people, you know, wanting to protest, man, this isn't this isn't a protest, man. This is a bunch of temper, temper tantrums. This is just catharsis, man. This is just people just going off and, and venting about and just taking advantage to to to, um, to lash out at people. This has always been the cornerstone of America. You know, we've always protested. You know, we we had the the lunch counter sit-ins with the civil rights. We had the the, the you know that we even did this in high school. Actually, I don't even know why we were doing this, but we decided we weren't going to class. You know, so everybody was outside. Maybe we wanted a smoking lounge. I don't even know why we were outside, but we were also right. <laughs> outside and we weren't going to class. But that was our our right to do that so isn't that all part of the american dream the american ability without having that fear of you know the 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 police coming in and beating us down that right there is the operative word my friend the fear a person protesting in america there's no fear (laughs) what are are you going to be afraid of you have the right to protest here and the, the sad part of it is that these people are taking they're taking that for granted. Like I said, these aren't protests. Now, yes, you should protest what is against bad law, protest against bad policy. And, and, the, and the thing is, not only that, people need to know the difference of what's bad law and what's bad policy. So these people, if they don't understand, they, they don't really know the difference between bad law and bad policy. The only thing that they see is bad is that they can't do whatever they want and they don't care what it costs somebody else. They don't understand the balance of freedom. You cannot have your freedom at the forced expense of somebody else. You cannot compromise the security and the rights of someone else for yours. That's what people just don't seem to understand. There's a balance to it. You said something earlier about uh, disrupting um, people's way of living or something to that effect. Um, How do you feel about the these protesters that are actually I know you're going to have strong opinions about this but the people that are actually out there blocking traffic because they're they're that's part of their protest they're out there impeding people from getting to work um do you think that they're just in doing so once again you know for, for the audience we got to understand under get this phrase right really embrace this phrase the balance of freedom Right. So, yes, you do have the right to peaceably assemble, but you cannot infringe upon a person's right to pursue happiness. Right. This is in our founding document document. This is the Declaration of Independence. We have the God given right to pursue happiness. If you are standing in my way of me going to my job, you are interfering with my right to pursue happiness. You are interfering with my right to maintain my property. You're interfering with my livelihood. Right. So your your protest cannot take precedence over my God given right to pursue my happiness. So it is not against. So so if, if I'm if I'm walking up and a person is in my way of me going, or it's so like if I'm driving up, and I, I know we're gonna get down to this question at some point. If I'm driving up and a per and, and, a, and a mob is in my way and they're saying you're not going to work, as I'd be like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to work. You're going to the hospital. You're gonna be under my car. And it's like, don't get me wrong, because I do have respect for life, but you don't have a respect for mine. So now we got a conflict here. Now, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to floor it, but that car is going to keep on moving. <laughs> so Zoe's <laughs> saying he's not going to splatter you over the 405, but you will become a permanent fixture of those grooves inside the road. <laughs> you will get yeah. run over. <laughs> it's like, it's like let's let's not make it painful. It's like this. It's like if you don't get out of the way, you're gonna be slowly <laughs> sucked under that car. I suggest you move. Like I said, I'm not gonna try to like you said, I'm not gonna try to splatter you, but that car gonna keep on moving. What do you think has changed in the United States uh, uh, outside of you know the current uh, administration? Why are people so active? Because we had George Bush in, in office just you know eight years ago and people weren't this actively engaging uh you know the establishment because because selfishness man selfishness is dangerously creative and um you know like right now one of the things that's different we were just like we were talking about a little earlier um uh the way that they pander patronize and, and uh and the propaganda that's involved with doing this like we were just talking you know we were just talking about uh, how 
you know, we're talking about a day without immigrants, right? And it's like, listen, you guys keep driving this narrative that it's about a day without immigrants. No, our issue is not with immigrants. Immigration makes America beautiful, right? That's it's, It makes America colorful, vibrant, and beautiful. Illegal immigration is the issue. That's what we're talking about. That's the problem is illegal immigration. And, uh, but you know, the left keeps driving this, this narrative of that we're against immigrants and we're not. And then plus that, you know, the left keeps trying to point to us like we're, we're, we have this issue with, you know, uh, in particularly uh, Mexican, the people of the Hispanic persuasion. And it's like, you guys are the ones who are always throwing them in our face. It used to be, remember when we had it, it was like a day without a Mexican or a day without a Latino and stuff like that. Now it's a day without immigrants. And whose image does the left wing media keep splashing out there to, to promote this? Hispanics. Mexicans, Cubans, you know, it's the, it's the they, these are the immigrants that they show to drive this narrative. It's not us, it's them. Wow. So Rachel spitting the actual factual you guys. You, we were actually you brought up something that I was wanting to touch tonight and we don't have time to do it now cuz we need to we need to go. But so talk too much. The yeah, uh, next next time we cuz it's not it's not going to be a, a, a an old topic. But um the CIA was hiring uh, psychics, and, and I don't know if you saw this. <laughs> the CIA had psychics, a program going on for ages. You were talking about mind controls, so it made me think about that. So um, we'll go on and uh, go in on that next time, hopefully, if we remember to do so, unless something catastrophic else has happened and weather control. We can talk about harp. We can talk about all kinds of conspiracy stuff all you want because the government is up to all kinds of fabulous things so um zo rachel thanks for tuning uh to checking us out tonight you guys um thanks for tuning in check out zo's show the zoloft on alfonsorachel.com and um if you play guitar and uh you can sing hit up zo because he's um he's holding auditions for 20 pound sledge looking for some new blood out there i hear yeah Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> so hit them up, you guys. Um, that's it for us tonight. Stay tuned for next week's show where we're going to talk a little bit more about this and a little bit more about that. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces. <laughs>